Hey, so, Japanese lifestyle, what is it like living here? It's been now my third month. It's hard. What you can do is if you are going to move to Japan or Korea, because they are very similar in that sense, is that research, research, and research. There is nothing like coming here with no idea and then experiencing something that you don't like and not knowing what to do. Uh, there are many people that come here to Japan and they don't speak Japanese to the point where they don't even try to learn the language while they're here. And it's mind-boggling how you can live in a country and you actually don't pick up that language, especially when a lot of immigrant parents learn the language in the countries they go to. So it's very important that you do make an effort with the language because it does make it easier at the end. It's stressful, you'll want to cry, it can be a bitch. But you know what? It'll make it easier in the end. But researching the country definitely helps you with anticipating what will happen and the good and the bad because there's a shitload of good, but there's a fuck ton of bad too. And that's for you to take. Just a note if you're coming to Osaka, you're gonna have to deal with Kansai Ben. So in the areas surrounding Osaka, Kyoto, there are, there's basically a different dialect spoken here. For example, uh, instead of saying chigao, the word for different, they say chao, and they often repeat words, and all of their verbal stems, they completely change. For example, the nice sem, uh, for example, if you say in tabenai, to not eat, they may say as tabehin or tabehen here. So, it's a very cons constant thing that you always hear, and if you're learning Japanese, it kind of fucks you up because you get so fucking confused. But hey, that's Japan for you. One thing I don't really get is when people come to Japan and they don't go out. Like, you have a whole country to explore and you stay at home. So, for example, like a friend of mine was telling me how one of his co-workers was... Um, he's also a foreign teacher. Uh, his co-worker on every Sunday just a day off. They just play video games at home from 12 o'clock to 7 p.m. Like, I don't know why. Like, seriously, you have a whole freaking world out there. You can go to beautiful parks. There's amazing history, museums, art galleries, the shopping, the shopping, the shopping, the food. You can explore that and you are going to stay in your comfort zone and be on your computer, talking to your friends overseas, playing games. You, mate. Ah, uh, fuck. And like, real talk. How many times have you heard about Japanophiles? You know, I really love anime, I really love this. Freaking weeboos, weeboos, they're, they're fucking everywhere. They're coming here and then they're just trying to find... a waifu? Uh, you're a creep. Like, for example, I was in my training group and I remember like, I had this really cool girl from New York and she just was a really cool girl and, you know, we really bonded over, you know, our music. We had similar music tastes. And one night we were just talking about, you know, things here in Japan. And she, she made a comment about that, you know, she's really grossed out by... I guess she said men, but I guess it can be anyone. Like, right, people that come here with a pure reason to just find someone to date, marry, which I completely agree with. Then we had this other guy who kind of had to chip in from a very awkward point. Uh, there's like nothing wrong with that, like, uh, yeah. Oh, 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 okay, I don't want to be friends with you. So like, that's the thing, you come to live in another country, they're not what you see on TV, they are more than that, they're an actual, they're actual people. Any country is like that, so you come to a country they're gonna have opinions, different opinions, and some opinions are gonna be shit, some will be bad, but you know what? They're actual people and they have different views and they're not this personified, this little like bubble that is just your idea of what they think they are because you are going to be disappointed. Seriously, real talk here. It is a beautiful country. There are there's so many things to do as I said before and it's a beautiful, it's a great experience to try this. 
it is tough and you will cry. I thought I wouldn't cry. I've cried so much. I didn't realize I was a crying type of person. You know what? I am a crying type of person, but who gives a fuck? It's a great experience. It takes all the courage and preparation and you will fuck up at times. That's gonna happen. But take it as it comes because there's so much to experience here and if you have an opportunity to teach in another country, go with an open mind, go with as much expectations, uh, with as little expectations as possible. Cause, mm, do a fuck ton of research because you're going to need some of the research and take in as much as possible. Get to know the locals and for the love of God, learn the goddamn language because it damn helps. Bye bye. Check it out.